Welcome, 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 little fam and local over here. We're back, gonna do a vid explaining some about the markets. Um, I decided I will not do any update about the financial stocks and market because my vids are getting a bit too long and so I'm gonna do this vid it's just about crypto bitcoin altcoins dominance and everything related to crypto so this will be a crypto related vid and I'm gonna do another vid about the financial markets so I will not uh, make any more vids combining those two because the vids are getting just too long so i'm trying to make them uh, really really short as possible okay no music today also because i think there is nothing to be happy about with all uh, that is happening in the world and a lot of people are dying children are dying dying and so yeah no music and nothing to be uh, to be happy about uh, my heart goes out to all the victims, my heart goes out to all the people that are getting uh, all the people and especially the children and the, and, the, and, the, and the weak people that are suffering right now so it's very hard for me and yeah it's hurting me a lot Okay, well, said, I've said that, let's jump into the chart. Okay, guys, I, I've i decided, by the way, to get back to, to, to Twitter. And the reason for that is um, I've been on Telegram, went private. Uh, there was a big reason for that uh, because I was just getting disgusted by, 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 by CT and all the scams and shills that are happening over there and it's just one big marketing company uh, filled by lies and filled by scams and filled by whatever to get retailers to pay for whatever and these these people there are no professionals they are just very 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 professional in how to yeah how to say how to how to take your money out of your pockets into their pockets instead of educating or helping retail to make money in these very very volatile markets so yeah but the problem is i went on tg and my buddy sit was getting banned and a lot of other people were getting banned by bots and whatever i think it's something like they want you to get premium over there or they want i don't know what it is they want to make money they're banning people for nothing and uh well i also tried instagram but that's even worse and so that's why i decided i thought you know what i just go back into twitter as long as i can and at the moment when I got a feeling that uh, that that, that our, our our journey or our mission is not uh, getting enough attention, and we are not helping enough people. Uh, the moment that I will leave Twitter this time is I will leave all social media, and so for now I'm I'm still here and I'm going to do my best like I always do, and uh, we keep nailing things and doing better than any marketing influencer out there but you know the facts speak for themselves so just go to my twitter and uh, you'll see the alpha shared over there okay let's jump in yesterday i shared with you guys this was by the way my first tweet that i tweeted oh, since i left i tweeted this chart and the first chart that i tweeted you couldn't see the numbers so i i shared it again with the not so you guys could see the numbers and we were somewhere around here i think about it and i and i shared it's not here over here i the the the, the, the tweet that i shared was uh, the team is going to uh, open up massive massive shorts if you will reach this line over here and over here there was another one over here so the team did exactly what i shared 
and they made like sick gains and i also tweeted take take the money take the money i was yes i was very i was i was very i was very tired because i've been traveling uh, past uh, past week that's also why i didn't share a lot of charts uh, on telegram and i i was so tired i told them take their profit because it was like a 2k 3k 3k uh, game because they jumped in around the between the 35 and 36 and then it came back to 3d 32 8 that's when i told them take the depth of it. and guys i i shared it yesterday they were going to go massive they were going to go heavy and they did go in heavy i'm not going to talk in numbers but they really made sick gains and I hope that many of the retail fam also make made the same gains and also open the shorts exactly at this line. And this is really, guys, this is just perfection. This is perfection. There was someone that asked me, uh, MB, how is it possible that you made this chart? How did you make? How did you get onto this chart and this target? And it's very hard to explain uh, how I get to this because you have to see it like this. I open up a Blanco chart like this. This is how I open up a chart. And I just look at it and then I just see those lines. It's it's not it's it's very hard to explain how I do this. Because you have to understand there are a lot of people in CT. The only thing they do is they copy other people. I never copied anyone. And I to be honest, um in my beginning i was checking a lot of charts of other ta einsteins and i stopped doing that and why did i stop doing that because and this is no bragging by the way guys because i came to i, I found out that there were no ta einsteins over there that were showing me something better so i had to i have to uh, trust on my own analyze because um, nine of the ten times my analyze comes out better than theirs so i thought to myself why should i check others why it has no use for me i'm just i just do what i do and i have to trust myself and so how did i came up with this line this is really uh, this is just me opening a chart and i opened it on the Heikanashi candles and i was looking at it and that's when i saw it that's when i saw these lines i, I thought oh, okay this is what those wheels probably are going to trade because as you can see this is what came out of it this is what came out of it and this is really perfection this is let me tell you the team i think this is in their top three trades of the past two three years in gains okay so that's about this and for now let's go uh, let me put out those indicators about the indicators guys there's so much people always keep asking about the indicators i made like so much so many vids just go to my youtube channel and look for the vids indicator 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 now i'll explain and for the one that asked me about yeah i'm seeing a lot of lines yes it's because you have got the the, the it, it's the old version and in the old version you have to go to the settings and at the settings um you have to let me let me show you let me show you very quickly because a lot of people already know it but i will show you you go here and then on the inputs over here uh what was it what was it what was it what was it uh time frame where's the time frame? Oh, i've got the new version so you're not seeing it so but anyway in the inputs you've got here something like time frame you have to put it on any or, or all time frames and that's when the indicator will be uh visible in all time frames so for now guys what what is next what is now what 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 is going on on the macro i'm still the same but the only difference between me and 99.9% .9 of influencers in CT is this. When they are bearish, they are bearish. When they are bullish, they are bullish. That's not how it works in TA. When you see someone like, you've got those famous one, uh, Capo, and you've got this, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to, to talk about a lot of names. I don't like to name uh, other people in my, uh, in my vids. 
but they are either bearish or they are bullish. When you are following someone, it doesn't matter who it is, that's either bearish or he is bullish, the best thing to do is just unfollow. Because that's just not how it works in trading and investing. In trading and investing, you have to be bullish and bearish at the same time. You have to follow the charts and see what's going on. You have to follow the fundamentals. You have to see the macro. On the macro, I'm still very bearish and I'm still believing that Bitcoin will come down. ETF approvals or not, it will come down. It will come down. But in the meantime, it doesn't mean that I'm... I'm going to lay low and I'm going to sleep and wait until Bitcoin comes back to 20k or 22k or, or 18k or maybe even 15k. No. In the meantime, I'm a trader. That's how everyone knows me and that's what I'm famous on on Twitter. I'm a trader. So my investment portfolio is very small if you compare it to my trading portfolio. But it's anyone's choice to make. So for me... I'm more of a trader than an investor. So my investment portfolio is very simple. I just look at the macro and I wait until we come down to these regions. And this is where I will start scooping altcoins, etc. And if we go lower, I will buy more. So this is here. But in the meantime, I'm going to make money. And when I'm going to make money, I'm trading. So what I see on the charts, I'm trading. I'm trading, I'm trading, I'm trading. And I'm always taking the damn profits. And why do I take a lot of profits it's because every candle because we're now on the weekly let me let, let me explain it like this uh, let, let's go to the normal candles as you can see this is on the one hour candles go up and down 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 if we go to the four hours candles go we go up we come down, we go up, we come down, we go up, we come down. So it has no... So when you're trading, when, you, when you're trading, you, you have to, for example, you could either, if you're shorting, you could short this, and when you're long, you long this, etc. But you have to swing trade. You can do it on spot, or you can do it on leverage, or you can do it on shorting, longing, whatever you want. So that's why I keep telling you, take the damn profits, because suppose... Uh, suppose let's say I opened up a long over here and I was in nice profits over here it came back over here I was still in profits but I lost a lot of big gains so when I jump in over here and we got over here or a pump like this take the damn profits when you go down you can buy in again and etc etc and for the short it's it's, it's it's the same system so that's why for a trader you have to be neither bullish neither bearish so for now, Bitcoin, what am I expecting? Let me go to the weekly again. What am I expecting? What am I expecting? Well, the ETF is going on. Um, and there is something else I wanted to ask you guys. So please let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments below. By the way, guys, let me know in the comments if you took this trade. Yes or no. Uh, if you shorted this, yes or no. Let me know in the comments. I really like to know because I really want to know who, 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 who did... Um, uh, take this uh, trade that I shared on Twitter and I want to know something else there is something else going on and I, I'm not reading or seeing anything about it the, in my there is a deadline for the Mt. Gox release and in my I thought that it was the 31 of October so that's in about what is it a week and I'm not seeing anything on Twitter or whatever reading about it. Maybe they postponed it again. So anyone, could you let me know if you have got some information or some solid information? Because um, we're going up and it's all fine. But the Mt. Gox release is also in a week. So this combination is frightening me uh, a bit. So let me go back to the chart. For me, this is just resistance. As long as this thing doesn't close a weekly candle above this, I am super, super bearish. So over here, this is the resistance line. So the 36 over here, this is the resistance line. And I will remain bearish. And in my opinion, we're going down again. 
and down again means that we will hit this line because this line now over here we we we, we touched it over here boom 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 and over here we just touched it once so i'm waiting for this so this should be very strong support the 2024 this is also what i shared in my previous vids the past weeks months 20k area is where i will be buying in well that's where i will be really investment buying in so for now although the etf approvals will get in or will not get in because if we already got this pump suppose that the sec decides to approve it uh could we get even a higher one because we're in some economic there is really a lot going on in the world so it wouldn't surprise me if this thing just breaks up and goes for example to the 40 or to the 45 46 i really it's it's possible everything is possible at this point because there is a lot of going on in the macro and if uh, the dollar will retrace a lot and the stocks the ai will also retrace uh, together with it there is a high chance that gold and bitcoin and silver will be pumping like crazy and so that's something to keep in mind so it could be but again i'm a trader so what i do is uh, i'm not missing out on any uh, buys i'm just trading it day by day and looking what's what's happening on the charts and the moment that i see an opportunity i will take it and i'll make my money that's just how i do it so because we're it's it's very it's very very difficult to trade crypto because crypto is ruled by a group of wills and they just when they want to pump it they pump it when they want to short it they short it and dump it and that's why i keep on my twitter keep updating you guys what's going on i keep showing you guys what the wills are doing i keep showing you charts what the wills are if they're shorting if they're longing uh, you got a lot of heat maps i'm not someone that likes heat maps there are a lot of people um on ct uh, showing all these heat maps uh, come on it, what is a heat map a heat map it, it shows liquidity okay there is a lot of sellers over here or there's a lot of buyers over here well what those those suppose suppose there is over here there was uh, uh there, there were like let's say 10 million uh, sellers over here those walls that are that, that we can see are made to distract us from reality to wreck us that's why they show us that because if i would be will i just supposed 30 32k there was a big big sell one of the heat map over here and people say oh yeah well it's going to it's going to get rejected and we're coming down from the 32k probably because there is so much sellers over there and then what happens on bybit it went to almost 37k i thought so they will liquefy you all so sometimes it's better to uh, uh less is better so don't focus too much on all these data einsteins because the biggest data einsteins that i've known the past years they were all wrong and the thing is i think that those guys were not wrong they were just hired by wills to show you data to distract you from what's going to happen to wreck you and that's how i managed to get out at the top at 69 67k and that's how i managed to stay in cash and only trade and didn't buy in and didn't get wrecked over 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 and over again well all the employees of the wills are on ct and youtube telling you to be to to, to be bullish on crypto well uh, almost all altcoins went like 90 99 percent down and that's when you lose all your money except for the people that followed me by the way <laughs> because those people did not get wrecked because i've been telling them to sell and not to buy in so for now guys it's 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 no man's land it's really no man's land this thing can uh it depends on what's going to happen on the fundamentals i'm expecting a really a retrace so i really expecting this thing to come down at least come down to the to the to the region that where we were at the 32k so let's begin with there let's see if the 32k will hold because we now let me put it on the daily so you can see it better we now broke this level we broke it up this this resistance level and a lot of people were sharing on twitter we've got a triple top we've got a triple this triple that the moment you're gonna see this guys triple top triple, you know 
they're going to wreck a lot of people because they will just break up and that's why you have to see the bigger picture so for now i expect this thing to come down at least at 32k and if we will lose 32k and if it would come down i expect also that we will come down very hard because um they 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 how wheels you have to you have to understand the psychology of of, of how wheels operate um the moment they made this move up is just to give you the feeling that Bitcoin is strong and Bitcoin cannot go down and we're going to the moon and it's now like we're going to 100k etc etc. So a lot of retailers because of this bump and it would come down they will have something like you know what we just have to buy in because we're just going up. It already went to 35, 36, 37k so we're probably just going to break up. So when they don't expect this thing to come down and that's when you see those big red candles like those boom 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 and it, it just wreck everyone they just open order books and they look at what retail are doing and they do the opposite they wreck them up they wreck them down so that's why your best friend by the way and that's what i always keep telling you guys the indicator is your best friend so when you are uh, really lost just open it up put it on the 15 minutes where are we where are we well as you can see now we are testing now the indicator on the 15 minutes so it's struggling over here now and on the 50 minutes so this is where you can eye it and if you go to the one hour you'll see that's over here so if this thing comes down we will reach the 32k5 this is where the struggle will begin but this thing is rising up and up and up by the minute so this is something to keep in mind so the indicator is really your best friend so if you want to trade this just put it on the 50 minute and trade it if it gets invalidated if it breaks up probably will go up more if it breaks down you can look for some shorts and when you're shorting just make sure that when you come down and this thing will get up again get the freaking fuck out don't get wrecked because guys just look at it on a four hour look at it on a four hour look we broke it up over here this is where the FOMO began this was a 27k we left we came down, we retested it, went up, retested it, boom, and off we went. So that's why if this thing gets invalidated on the higher time frames, that's when you have to be bearish and become bearish. And when you're trading very short term, then you really have to put it on the 50 minutes. And as you can see, it's really trying to break up over here but again on the on the weekly this is the level to watch now the level is at 36k as long as we stay behind below it i think that we're coming down to the 32k okay well guys about altcoins 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 um it's very hard because dominance just really made it dominance made really a big big rush up let me see where is my dominance chart banner dominance chart i thought yeah it was over here i shared this also yesterday guys and we were over here we were here when i shared this we were over here this is where we were we were over here where we shared this i told you target this thing will go up and what happened it went up it went up that's why i say i keep nailing this over here i shared over here the tweet just go to my twitter you'll find it yesterday it was here i told you guys target so if this thing comes over here that's when we could look at some altcoins to uh, trade but 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 you have to be very very careful because uh, uh, if dominance gets over here and, and goes down you have to also keep an eye on bitcoin because if bitcoin starts dumping hard uh altcoins will also dump they will not dump as fast and big as bitcoin but they will also it's very very if 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 the best scenario for people let me explain i think this is very important for the retail fam to understand suppose that this thing goes up over here and bitcoin drops to 20k or to 22k or whatever that would be the best scenario for us DJs to buy alt i would buy really really a lot of altcoins and i will trade also a lot of altcoins so the best scenario would be if this thing goes up and bitcoin drops but this doesn't happen a lot so just keep that in mind okay uh guys 
I said before, I'm not going to talk, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do, uh, to make this vid too long. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'm gonna, uh, I also gonna, um, because I saw, I tweeted yesterday, why do you like me to, uh, because I'm going to trade a lot of uh, crypto the coming weeks, uh, where do you like me, what exchange, and I thought Bybit was by far the best uh that was chosen by the retail fam so i'm going to check in uh, on uh, i've got a bybit account i'm gonna to check in and i'm gonna put some funds over there and uh, maybe i'm gonna start trading over there also um, i also have got my bitfavo account my bitfavo was also someone calling out uh, bitfavo bitfavo guys bitfavo is for me the safest uh, exchange in europe um, I'm from the Netherlands and Bitfavo is also a, a Dutch company. Uh, I'm not, I, I haven't partnered up with them or something, but um, I've used Bitfavo for like, what is it now, like three, four years, I don't know what. It's just for me the safest way to, uh, to, to, to buy crypto. Um, I don't, their fees uh, on Bybit are, I think, uh, a bit lower, but for me, Bitfavo is not where you're going to, because they also do not offer uh, leverage trading, but it's uh, very, very good for uh, mid-term, long-term investments. So suppose that you want just a secure platform uh, where your money is safe and you want to buy crypto long-term or for swing trades, Bitfavo is one of the best, uh, uh, safest one, in my opinion. I don't know if it's the cheapest one, but I rather pay a little bit more transaction fees buying crypto than having to worry about it uh, when I lose my money or it gets hacked or whatever. So for me, Bitfavo, uh, for me, it's also very, very important. Bitfavo has got also, uh, you can buy crypto with euros. So I don't have to buy USDT or USDC or whatever stable out there. So Bitfavo you can buy just with euros. So you just deposit euros on your account, very simple. And you can buy your crypto directly with your euros. And when you sell them, it's the same. And when you want to uh, withdraw your money, uh, for me, in five seconds, it's on my bank account. And I really love this. This is what I love about Bitfavo. I put my money in. I suppose, like like, like, like the Bitcoin trade, I made uh, suppose uh, 10k, and I want I want my money. I just push one button, and it's on my bank account, and I can do whatever I want with it. So I will share uh, a link of uh, a link a link of Bitfavo. Uh, so you'll not get on some scammy site or whatever. Uh, I, I will put in uh, a link uh, of Bitfavo if you want to uh, open an account over there. And they also, um, if you use that link, that referral link, they will give you the first 10K that you invest uh, will be free of transactions. So you don't have to pay any fees uh, on, on when you're buying crypto for the first 10 10k 10 thousand euros so i'll leave uh, the bitfavo link below so um i'm gonna make another vid about bitfavo by the way because I, I really love bitfavo i've been using it for like three four years uh guys for now bitcoin bitcoin i think it will chop around i think it will chop around i think we will test the 32k so thank you for watching and by the way guys i'm back on twitter it doesn't mean that we are because I've lost a lot of followers uh, when I when I when I when I left Twitter. It's very important for me that you guys uh, first of all leave a comment below. Please show some love if you made some money on my shared trade yesterday again. Show some love, leave a comment, like the vid, and on Twitter, very important, guys help us retail fam grow. Let us help. Let us get more retailers out of the hands of those scammers and shillers and paid programs. Let's get them into the fam, let's grow together because together we, start, we just stand stronger. And let's all pray for all the victims in the world and let's all hope for peace. Thank you very much for watching and peace out. Thank you, bye-bye.